Hello there viewers, this is another episode of Spiritual Rhapsodies. My name is still Elvon Jarrett and we have here in the studio uh, the father of drama ministry, a lot of people call him the father of drama ministry. He is the president of the Mount Zion Faith Ministries and the president of the Mount Zion Christian Institute of Drama. Uh, so, Evangelist Mike Bamiloye, you're welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you very yes, much. Sir. Thank you. From our last episode, sir, you were telling us about the wilderness experience you had in drama ministry because uh, you all started to go down this path. None of you had full-time jobs. You were full-time in the drama ministry. You were not taking salary from anywhere. and uh, Nobody was able to pay you any amount whenever you went out. You were the first person to start it. And you had all your members on full-time. Nobody was getting salary from any church, from anywhere. But yet, you had wives, you had children, you had to pay rent, and you were traveling about, and you were not charging fees. So how logical and, I mean, <laughs> I mean, how were you able to <laughs> do it? Yeah, you know, in, the, in this matter, we are not talking about how logical it is. We are talking about um, how, how spiritually um, compliant is it with the Word of God. So, I believe that in the scripture, when we talk about the ministry of Jesus Christ, the ministry of John the Baptist, the call of David, I, 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 it made us understand that um, whoever the Lord will call, we have to pass through some stages right from the start, which is which I call wilderness experience. In our own case also, just like that, it was a very solid foundation for us. Yeah. I believe it was a very solid foundation from us. That experience was a solid foundation. I believe the Lord allowed it, the Lord permitted it for us to be very strong in faith because of where the Lord was taking us. Right. And so, and, and that was how all our children, all the children today, today the children are getting married today, but that was how, that was how they grew up in that same experience. So at that time, our faith was just that. The Lord was taking us to something bigger and our focus was on that something bigger. And you had to pay the price. Pay the price the price but another thing that helped us at that time me personally what helped me at that time and which we were passing across my wife and i when we got married we passed this across also matter of faith faith you know the ministry is called mozion faith ministry now but it was like a contract between us and god the lord said if you want to go far with me if you want me to do great things in you you must operate with me by faith and so we have to keep on trusting the Lord. That was why the name of the ministry became Mozambique Faith Ministry uh, from Mozambique Christian Production. So that with that experience was a solid foundation for us and we believed it and it helped us. So today we now understand that the Lord wanted us to speak the right things to people. Actually those who are coming behind us to make them understand that this work of ministry of drama and film production is about is a work of faith. It has not changed. Right. Yeah. So most of your productions were done through faith. And uh, all, all the productions, <laughs> all the productions <laughs> were done through faith. Because there was no contribution from people. There was no it's not a church where people pay tithe and offering. But the Lord raises people from time to time, they give us this, give us that. Shall we are going on film look film uh, state administration, uh, honorarium from here and here. That was all. So we have to live by faith, trusting God that, okay, you are going today. Lord, we trust you. We trust you. You will bless us today. And on some occasion, people, 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 people give us less below our expectation. And yet, you have to trust God. We can't revolt because it is work of ministry. People, can, people will not give us much things now. And at that time, in a stage, just a short ministration, people will give us big things. That is where the faith comes in. Right. Uh, I also read and understood that when you wanted to marry your wife at that time in the ministry, um, it was actually your sister who actually told the in-laws that they shouldn't give you as a wife. So how did you eventually get her as your wife today? Hey, no, every, every mother you want good things for her children. <laughs> my big sister was, like, was my mother at that time. But she looked everywhere around. She didn't see what I was doing. It was a drama administration that has not gone so far. The ministry was just starting. In fact, she was the one that was helping us many times. 
We, we have state administration of film production. We use the house for location. She be the one to feed all the cast. So she was so helpful at that stage, so helpful. Now I said I wanted to get married. So she looked around. Yeah, that time was not right for marriage. That there's no work. That was why she said that. But eventually she was even the one that spearheaded the assignment, the wedding later. <laughs> All right. So we can say that you know when you are when you are when you are uh, a trailblazer in your passion. Members of your family at times might not see what you are seeing. They might not see it. And they might okay. seem like they are opposing. opposing. So, what should be your attitude at that time? At that time, well, there, there should be patience. And at that time, one should listen to God very well. Because in our own case, when the, we said we wanted to get married and have, not even my, not, not even my big sister alone that said that, even the parents of my wife could not understand what we were doing. So, they are not ready for anything, but the Lord spoke to us that we should continue doing His work, that He will handle it Himself. So we forgot the whole thing. So we began to do the work. We kept on moving with the ministry, traveling around, and then I think it was the following year, the Lord just said, "Now start." And by the time we wanted to start preparation for the wedding, they were set. So there was no arguing. Yeah. They all rose up from my mom, from my wife's mother's side, from my wife's side, from my family, even my big sister. They stood up. All of them stood up. So I think it has also has to do with the right time. Faith and timing. Exactly. <laughs> faith and timing. Now, talking about faith and timing, Agbanala was a very, very popular drama series. And it was just faith and timing at that time. I think it was, uh, it came out in 1991, 90, 1992, 90, 90, 90, 92, 93. Um, that was a 13 episode. It was 13 episode. Yes. Episode, yeah. And it went around the whole Southwest. And during that time, people used to run home to go and watch Agbaranla on NTA, which are several stations. Uh, and that was a, another timing and a level of breakthrough for the ministry at that time. So how was the preparation towards, uh, were you expecting that? You are not. You are not expecting that. In all our hearts, we wanted to do something for God. We just got ourselves to do something for God. We wanted to make a production for God. We wanted, we wanted the people also to have something to watch. Because before then, far back before then, about seven, eight years before that time, there have been a lot of television Syria that are secular, that are not having good inspiration, giving good inspiration to people. Right. It was so demonic or it was promoting the promoting, kingdom of darkness. Promoting kingdom of darkness, promoting idolatry, promoting demono, uh, 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 demonic influences, and mm. wanted to do something for God. So we just said, Lord, just give us a drama also that people can watch at home. But we're not expecting the influence that it had later. So we just got ourselves together, Mozion and then all the friends of Mozion, and then including students of Mozion Institute at that time, and then we went to a film location. With the little amount of money we had, I think the money we had at that time was 500 Naira, which we used to deposit for the camera to do the work. <laughs> that was all. <laughs> People were coming in on location, donating food for us on location, so we started. But by the time the movie was done, and the television, and then, and then some people now rose up to sponsor it. We contacted some people after the editing that they should sponsor. So we call in Lagos. We contacted some people, and they agreed. And in all the states of the Western region, we contacted different people, and they agreed to support the broadcast on television. So they paid for it, and so it it came up. And so when it now came up, it was a surprise how it went. It just went viral. So 1994, a year after, the Lord told us to go back on location and shoot the English version of it. Mm, so, we went, yeah, so we now went back on location with the script of English. And we shot the English one. And that, the English one now went to the East. So one so of people now sponsored it in the East, all the stations in the East. And so it went viral in the East, right from Edo State down to uh, Anambra mm -hmm. in the East. And so it went on to Pavakot. So from that time, you started doing more of 
uh, uh, film, television series. Yes, television series. Because yeah. I know after that we had if they should after the great mistake, great mistake. <laughs> yes, then all the if they should. Yeah. Uh, story of my life yeah, and uh, there's all those uh, feature films yeah feature films feature films and uh, we noticed that there had been a pattern of the same kind of grace that was on the stage production also came on the film production uh, so that takes me back to talking about the the place of the writer I mean because we know most of those things we are done through your writings yes so what was your preparation towards writing those scripts how did you how did you just come up with all these scripts and some of those characters because we know some of those characters because we were even uh, you know we were even saying that you must have had some demonic uh affiliation for you to have brought out those kind of um incantations in most of those movies so how can you clear yourself <laughs> And you know, everything is just the work of grace. Just the work of the grace of God. In addition to the preparation of the drama ministers themselves. I, I, I believe it's just the hand of God. You know, it's just the hand of God upon me to be able to do what I did at that time. And then as per writing the script, it's also grace and the gift. Just the gift of God to be able to write this type of thing. Because... Many of those characters were just imaginary characters, and the incantations were not real incantations. Really? They were just construction of words. The construction of words, and uh, so I think everything was based up. Uh, actually, came out of result of the little foundation God gave me in studying Yoruba language, because I studied Yoruba also in the college English Yoruba education. So the little uh, little knowledge I had, the little knowledge I got in the school and the understanding of the, from the Holy Spirit that he gave me about the language was the foundation. So the rest was just help of the Holy Spirit, manifestation of his gift. So those incantations were not incantations, actually, they were just words, twisted words, turning words upside down, and then and, and, and you can't dispute it. <laughs> <laughs> because also the characters I really you know so you know you had because most of your the stories had had a lot of conflicts yeah and um, you had the protagonists you had the antagonists and all those things of dramaturgy were actually observed did you take a course in script writing or in drama or something no, 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 there was no course there was no course in script writing I didn't take any course in script writing or drama it's just good I don't know it's just help of the Holy Spirit, and then, and then observation. You also watch some of those. You observe some things. I think the little thing the Lord teaches through what you observe, the Lord multiplied it as I try to write your life. All those characterization, many of those characterization, I, I, it's just by the help of the Holy Spirit actually. Well, viewers, we still have Evangelist Mike Bamiluye in our studios, and he would be coming back to tell us much more about what the Lord has been doing in his life and his ministry. Don't touch that remote.
Welcome back viewers, it's still Spiritual Rhapsodies, my name has not changed, it's still Elvin Jarrett and we have here in the house an icon and a great minister of drama, evangelist Mike Bamiloye, sharing with us the journey and path which he has gone through in the ministry of drama evangelism. So sir, as a writer you had uh, you had gathered information based on different observations and creativity with the help of the Holy Spirit. Uh, how have you been able to, because you've been able to pass this across to several people also? 1992, the ministry began a drama school, and it is called Mount Zion Institute of Christian Drama. So it began in 1992, and the people come from different churches, mm -hmm. from campuses, from ministries to come and train. So we were able, it was the experience on stage ministrations, experience in Christian film productions that we had at, at the, with, with which we were able to develop the curriculum for the drama school. And so we began to pass many of these things across to those who come. But most importantly, we laid the foundation for them in the area of spiritual preparation. So majorly, people that come to Mozart and Institute of Christian Drama don't only come to come and learn how to write script or how to learn script or develop suspense in a script writing or no. The major things they learn actually is being in tune with God, right. learn spiritual preparation, right. and they, they learn about God, discovering your calling in God, standing right in His presence so that the gift inside of you can develop right. and that the Lord can anoint the gift. So we, we believe so much in the anointing of the gift that God has put inside the man. That with the anointing of the gift inside of a man, then the Holy Spirit can teach him a lot of things that nobody else can teach him. We see that uh, today, Mount Zion is about 34 years old right now. Yes, uh, yes. 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 Next year is going to be 35. 35. And we've seen that um, you've been able to replicate this in your children. Your son, Damilola McBamley, is a script writer, a director, an actor, uh, just same thing with Joshua, same thing with uh, several other members of uh, Manzano's children. Um, these young men have also caught the fire <laughs> and they are working effectively. So how would you say that um, they got into this ministry? Yeah, we, they, all, all these children were born into the ministry. They experienced the transitions. They saw all the moment of the growing of the ministry. They were there when we were having stage ministrations. And then when we entered into film productions, they were there. Many of them were cast as children, as babies in, in the movies. And in Agbaranla, the babies that was on the floor in the house of the shrine in the Vishaguru for our children. Mm -hmm. but, but the, the, the baby has now graduated from, from university. She's working in Lagos now. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she was a baby. The, the baby that, that, that they give birth to. <laughs> right. the ultimate power. She's now working in Lagos. And she's a child of God in the ministry. So, so these are all these are the way all the children in Mount Zion grew up in the work, and and then and the inspiration was passed across to them with the help of the Holy Spirit. So today, many of them are into acting, script writing, cinematography, editing. So, in fact, majority of the works we do now in Mount Zion Faith Ministries, majority of it are handled by our children. Okay. Like majority of the movies I shoot. Because of the movies of my wife, is being handled by our sons. They handle the editing, shooting, editing, and the graphics works, complete work. You also run a TV station too. Yeah, we have, yeah we have a TV station that started 2016. Okay, and what does that? How does that? Uh... And the Mozambique Television is um is a, we call it Africa's first Christian movie channel. That is a channel that we buy runs 24 hours watching Christian movies alone. No preaching, no sermon, no, doc no, no interviews, no documentary, just movie, 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 movie alone. And, mm. they, and the movies come from the combination of other drama ministers, including Monzaya. So it began 2016 through a, a, a paid platform, a, paid TV pla a cable telly, 
Yeah. So began. So we are still praying that the Lord will give us more bigger platform for it. You, you also have a Mozan app right now. Before. Yes, yes. The Mozan television also have an app, so one can download it on the Google on the Google Play Store. You can see Mozan television, and you can download it. And the and, and then and the Mozan television also is also on the on the TV now. It's also okay. on Google Google Play Store, and I think it's also on some other platform. I mean Mozan television. Apart from Mozan television, Mozan movies also has an application whereby you can just keep watching only Mozart movies and so uh, well something that really amazes a lot of people is um, your personality and your way you look at things um, years back several years back when the whole um, film industry was complaining about piracy I mean, you never allowed it to bother you. As a matter of fact, you went to uh, a, a film festival and you just <laughs> explained to people and said, look, well, piracy, people are spreading the word of God through your films, through piracy. And what you, one quality which you always did was that you were actually giving out your films free of charge to television stations at that time. I mean, what prompted this? The rationale behind this is because of what the Lord taught us. Not that we don't need money, we need money. And many of those TV stations, some of those TV stations we gave the movies to. They, they, they gave donations or offering to us, but we don't charge. And the rationale behind this is just the, the mind behind determining to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and the, and the spreading the word of God through drama, understanding the fact that people get used now to watching movies. They want to watch movies now. They want to see things now. And the drama I mean, the drama production and Christian film production is a greater venue to spread the word of God to people. So that was the rationale behind it. And we discover that the issue of piracy and that the, when people want to watch the thing, we don't support we don't support piracy. Right. We don't support piracy right. at all because it's, it's, it's illegal. Mm. But when people want to watch the thing and they do and they, and, and they tap it from whichever way and they are watching and they take it to crusade and they use it in crusade and souls get saved. We are happy about the souls yes. that get saved. And we are so excited uh, about the souls that get saved. And they are And they so we don't care. The souls that get saved, they are so innocent. They don't know if they are watching pirated movie or not. Right. And heaven will cause them as we right, said. Right. So we are on the lost side. We are on the side of heaven. Since they are not in heaven, you, they will not ask them, Oh, which movie did you watch? Was that movie? Is it original or pirated? <laughs> oh, I don't know this pirated. Oh, it's pirated, so, so yeah, it's pirated, so. <laughs> so, that was the major focus at that time. The major focus was to be able to spread the word of God by any means and whatever uh, things you heard. And uh, you also wrote a lot of books. You know, you wrote a lot of books. Uh, that you distributed, you know, at crusades and things free of charge at that time. You know. uh, we, we do hold um, the program, which I've been holding since 2006. We call it Drama Ministers Power Night. That is a platform whereby all drama ministers are around that, that from different places. That we pray and recharge spiritually. That we seek God's face. That we stand in the Lord's presence and we receive His word. And there's an overnight program. So, in that places, some of the times we have books that we wrote and we distribute. The Lord, the Lord gave us that order at that time to be given books, so everybody can receive books. Today, it's not only books, and at times it is not books, but today up to now, whenever we hold the program, which is quarterly, we give them movies. So there are movies we distribute for people to watch. So that after the program, they go back home. And they watch this as a souvenir, souvenir from the day. program, from Drag Minister's Power Night, for them to watch. All this, we believe that this is just a seed into the lives of people. And then God knows how to bless us back. Yes, and I see that that has been a move you have championed in drama ministers in the whole of Nigeria. A lot of drama ministers have uh, imbibed that from you and have 
you know, release their movies, release their books, and have set it for, and it has caused a revival in drama in uh, Nigeria, yeah, yeah. and that has been going around the world. I don't know if you are there, and you desire to be used of God, maybe in the drama ministry, or whatever ministry the Lord has placed in your heart. The Lord has given you several gifts. He has put a gift in you, and He desires to use you, and you've had it all. Lay your gift on the altar. Evangelist Mike Bamiloye will be praying. At this point in time, I want you to stretch out your faith. Just stretch out your hands and open your hearts and listen and believe God. Because I believe after this prayer, your life will not remain the same again. So I pray for us. Father Lord, I pray this afternoon or this morning or this time for everyone listening to me who desire to serve you with the heal of their gift. Especially in the gift of acting. Instead of using it for the devil or using it for the world, they want to use it for expansion of your kingdom. Yes, Lord. And they want to use it for the revival of the body of Christ and for regeneration of souls of men back to you. So I pray for such people today, Father, that you will touch that gift and you will touch their lives. Yes, and you will Lord. use the gift inside of them for your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray that you will multiply that gift in them, expand it and increase it. And, and revive dying gift inside of everyone here listening and watching and touching this set in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that everyone who desire to serve you with their acting gift will be visited now and you will touch their life and bring their soul back onto you and touch their gift and expand it and use it and create a platform for them to use it for your glory yes, in the Lord. mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. I believe your life is not going to remain the same again. And I believe the Lord will do a special thing in your life today. And you will be transformed to greater heights. Keep doing what the Lord has asked you to do. And remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. Your best years are not behind you, but are ahead of you. Until I come your way again, my name is Elvon Jarrett. Keep watching Spiritual Rhapsodies and God bless you.